Hello. Uh, probably the worst set of Baum magazines that were previously published on World War One is the Times History of the War. Um, printed in, well, bound in the Times' own covers, it was a weekly part work which was available at seven, seven pence a copy and 13 copies made up one bound volume. So when you bought 13 copies, you went back to your new agents, you paid for it to be specially bound in the Times' own binding. And it actually does say that, and I quote, where it's at, this work will be issued weekly in seven penny parts. 13 of these parts will form a volume and special bindings will be issued by the Times and sold by every bookseller. The public is warned against purchasing other bindings which cannot be possibly be as suitable as those specially designed by the Times. So you have to buy the special Times ones. Um, it purports to report the war as near to the time it happened as is possible. And yet, when you get to the likes of volume number seven, which was printed in 1916, the contents of this volume seven was printed throughout 1916. And yet, when you get to the volume that was printed in 1916, the contents of the volume, when you consider what was happening on the Western Front in 1916, what you get in the 1916 printing is the Italian offensive in 1915, autumn and winter 1915 on the Eastern Front, the Navy's work in 1915, British war finance 1914-1915, so it seems to contain the previous year's information. So there seems to be a lapse between what was happening and what was being reported, probably because of who the time set was aimed at. It was aimed, not at the likes of you and me, it was aimed at the posh section of British society. And interestingly, they obviously didn't want to read about Captain Johnny Farquharson or whoever up to his ankles in blood and crap on the Western Front, because there's hardly any frontline photographs of the Western Front there's hardly any trench warfare stuff in the time se section at all. What you get in the time section, you get political statement, you get political accounts, you get things like, you know, the British export records, um, merchantmen at war, and things like that. There's hardly anything to do with trench warfare and the Tommy on the Western Front, probably due to who the time set was actually aimed at the top end of British society. Now, as a result, the Times bound volume of World War One is not a very popular set. It doesn't tell you that much. It is the worst set of bound period World War One magazine part works that you can buy. And I wouldn't recommend you buy it because there are far better sets out there. And what you find is the first four bindings of the book are all bound as the Times History of the War, 1914. Now that's because, particularly the posh people thought the war was going to go to 1914. When it went to 1915, somebody at the Times obviously went, oh fuck, what are we going to do? This war's going on for longer than we thought. So the first four bindings are dated 1914, but each subsequent binding from, from volume four onwards only has the Times history of the war on it, with no date. So they had a bit of a slip up with the, the printing of the bindings. Now I don't know how many it actually ran to, I've only got seven volumes, V11, well, volume seven, so it must have run to maybe eight, maybe 12 volumes, because as I say, volume seven, printed in 1916, it contains information from 1915. Now when you consider other publications at the time, were reporting stuff, in a matter of weeks after it had happened. For example, aimed at the lower end of the market, you have this one, The War Illustrated. Now The War Illustrated has got masses and masses of frontline combat stuff reported a matter of weeks after it happened. Well, and we'll go through this in another video. But the Times one, it, it has very, very scant information at all. It's mainly high-flying people in politics and society. There's hardly any frontline combat photographs in the Times section. So I would say avoid buying the Times one 
because it isn't a very good set. Um, I don't think it was very successful at the time because only the posh people bought it and consequently not many turn up so I don't know how many it went to so that's the Times history of the war um, it's illustrated but it's not that good so we'll see you for another video shortly